today off of the supply table. All you need to grab is a coffee filter. If you finish one of these, you're more than welcome to work on a second one. You need to decide, are you going to work with cool colors, which are green, blue, and purple that kind of remind us of water or ice. Or you can work with warm colors, which are pink and orange and yellow and red. And they remind us of things like fire. Okay, You need to choose one or the other. You cannot use both sets at the same time. You're more than welcome to do a warm colored coffee filter and then come back and do a cool colored one when you're done. That's fine with me. You are going to be drawing a design all over this coffee filter. It needs to be completely colored. I would start off by drawing some lines across it. What this does is it gives me some shapes. That way I can go in and I can add some color and some patterns to these. So really think about patterns. Maybe this one I want to do something like a checkered board. Can't just leave it like that though because it's got to be colored in. You may have noticed too that I didn't ask you to put your name on it. That's because we're not going to be getting these ones back. They're going to go up for the art show. So we won't be getting these ones back. When you get your entire coffee filter covered with patterns, you are finished with it. Put it on the back counter and then you can go up and grab another one and begin working on another one. All right, so you're using either warm colors or cool colors and we're working on some patterns. When you're done, make sure to clean up after yourself.